Battle Rock. Monday morning. Winter is here. Don't really want to take the truck out but start putting that shit on the roads. I don't want it getting on this thing, but we gotta take a ride down to the scrapyard and uh, clean some stuff out. Got some uh, number one in the back. A bunch of rotors and stuff under there. Pretty good stuff. This past week I've been uh, whatever I get, you know, number one steel, heavy stuff. I've just been throwing it in the back of this because uh, don't want to overweight the old farm truck too much with that. Use that for the light. Put the heavy in this. It's a little heavy this morning. Yesterday I uh, took in some empty bottles of cans. And, uh, got a few bucks, and so I got a few bucks and went to the store. Got the old lady some smokes and uh, got some ginger ale. Had a bottle of Crown Royal I got for uh, my birthday. So I figured we'd make some cocktails. Come on, for your cocktail. <clears throat> feeling it, feeling it this morning, definitely. Might have had a few too many. But a couple of coffees. Haven't ate anything yet. Not sure what I'm gonna do, but uh, gotta move some stuff around. Load a couple things up. See how it goes. Mail's here. much for light. Maybe get a couple things on the way. I don't know. Yeah. Ooh. Got a few batteries. One lonely radiator. Number one, see if we can sneak those bed rails in. You can tell my uh, my head's not in the game yet. Because what I was gonna, when I was telling you about going to the store with the uh, deposit money, I ended up getting. Um, 
couple scratch tickets. And uh, to my surprise, after I decided to win it all, fifty bucks. So we're winning, winning it all. We got twenty bucks from the deposits. You know, you know, beer bottles, beer cans. You know, um, I don't know if you knew, but up in Maine, all the uh, spring water bottles too, all the juices, all those plastic bottles are all five cents deposit up here. So you got to save them all, bring them in. Yeah, you just bring them in. They count them for you. But anyway, I wanted to clean up the pile in the basement and uh, brought them in. It's like 21 bucks or something like that. Got some smokes, you know, got some ginger ale. The rest of it, let me see if I can win it all. So, we got that stuff, we had a nice time, and then won 50 bucks. So, first thing we're going to do, probably put it directly in the tank. This old big block dually, 454. Because, just like me, she's thirsty. Money. Making money already. Before I hit the road, uh, still a little cloudy. Gonna need uh, need some medicine. And uh, this is see this? It's gold. It's gold medicine. See. If you're telling me that you don't like that, you better, you better get some help because there's nothing like McDonald's hash browns. And you're a little bit, a little bit hungover, you know? And really going to get me going. Of course, you know, it comes with a couple other things. You know, you might have your favorite, but mine is a good old sausage, egg, cheese, McMuffin. Look at that. It's a real egg. Oh yeah, it's real. That salty, fake cheese that just there's something about it. Sausage patty's got a little little spice to it, you know. Oh, that's good. Normally on a cold day, I would switch to the I would have switched to the hot coffee, you know, by now, but. I was just a little bit dry, you know, a little thirsty more, but I got a nice coffee. You really got to tell them what you want in these, because you tell them regular, they'll just, they'll put like eight cups of sugar and it'll be like white milk, but um, it looks like they put exactly three ice cubes in it, which kind of not very good to me. I like a lot of ice, but... I guess it'll have to do. You 
got steam coming off. Oh man. That is good. Not bad. Not bad coffee. McDonald's. If you get that meal, you know, you know, they're only giving you one of these. Just one. Should really give you like ten because they're so good. But see we don't mess around. And look what's in there. Oh, there's a couple of little babies hiding out in there. Yep. You gotta get three of them in there. You can't just be satisfied with a sandwich and one hash brown. Come on, that's ridiculous. It's just, just ridiculous. Well, excuse me. Finish this breakfast here. You might be saying. Not a lot of scrap in there today. Oh boy. Not a lot. Nope. Decent amount of number one. Enough to make the truck, you know, squat a little bit. More like level out, but and then you say, why would you hook the why'd you hook the trailer? Nothing in it. Couple things, you know, that barrel, it's kinda heavy. big old stupid desk I was going to use and then it just made me mad because it was in the way which usually stuff does and all the drawers kind of were all funky didn't want to open right so that went in well the whole reason I got to take a ride and, and unload what I got today being Monday I like to be ready for things. Wednesday, I got a big job. It's actually a paying job. Um, lady contacted me months and months ago. They live somewhere else down south, which a lot of people do. And a lot of people buy properties up here in vacation land to uh, rent out to snowmobilers and, you know, during the summer, the hikers and ATV, you know, stuff like that. So anyway, they bought a house right in town here. And a lot of the times up here, you buy a house, you get what's in there. That's your own problem. So that's where I come in. She said, um, there's a lot of stuff in this house. There's a lot of, there's like 18 wash machines and dryers and fridges and all sorts of appliances and metal. So, she gave me a call and said, you know, this is all the stuff that has to be taken out. How much would you charge? The price of light iron is two cents a pound, so not really enthused about doing stuff like that, but I gave her a price, kind of a price like if she takes it, I'll do it, but I kind of priced it high so that You know, maybe she would say, oh, that's too high and not want to do it. Because I really didn't want to do the job. But anyway, to my surprise, she said, sounds good. So, I'm 
like, okay, well, I guess I got to do this job. He said, I'll get a hold of you again in a few months when we're ready. So, a lot of the times, you know, you don't really have too much faith in people, you know, expect to hear back, but she got back to me and she said, she said, okay, um, yeah, we still, we're ready to do that, we closed on the house, it's our house, and we're ready to do it, but there's uh, some other stuff that we need taken out of there, there's a couple of mattresses, and some other trash, a few bags, stuff like that. That um, we need to, you know, get out of there at the same time. Do you think you can handle this? And uh, let me know how much. So I raised the price another hundred dollars. So because I would need to uh, probably bring, bring both trucks over and uh, take some stuff to the dump too, which doesn't cost me anything because I have the dump sticker and I can just dump anything there. So that's not too bad, but you know, still gotta mess around. You gotta go upstairs in the bedroom and you know, get an old mattress out of there. You gotta deal with that. Some other trash, some other stuff, I don't know, some wood and you know, night table crap, stuff like that. But she didn't bat an eye on it. She said, whatever, whatever it takes. She said, sounds good. So, it's all set. So anyway, I got to get everything empty because I want to be totally empty. And I want to take both trucks over. The trailer. Get everything in one. It's all got to go in one shot. This can't be like, you know, you can't. She doesn't want it dragged out over you know, weeks and weeks, it's just got to be one day, get it all, get it out, we pay you, and that's it, so, I get paid to do it, and then I get paid at the scrapyard, which, as we know, you know, it's not a lot, but it still will cover gas, and, uh, not too bad, so, we're just trying to do this today, not much else going on, get this uh, get paid on this number one a few batteries get that other shit out of the trailer and get it cleared out so that way we're totally empty called that radiator irony aluminum I don't know usually it says radiators but one dollar and two cents but you can see technically I got more just by separating that because six cents a pound where if I had to just thrown it into the light iron it would have been two cents a pound batteries three and a half batteries three big one little six dollars thirty cents a piece 2205 number one prepared is where the money is at four cents a pound should be eighty dollars a ton we had just over a thousand pounds in the bed not too bad 4160 and of course the light iron only a couple things a barrel the desk and an old seat frame eh, just shy of 500 pounds nine dollars and sixty cents for a grand total of 74 27 not too bad 
on to the next hustle. The hustle continues. Got these two uh, 17 inch truck tires. They're in the back of a truck that I junked a little while ago. Pretty decent tires, but 17s don't really need them. So the hustle continues. Had them on marketplace for a couple weeks. All of a sudden today, get two responses. So just meeting them at the parking lot up here. Guy's supposed to be coming with cash. Another 60 bucks. The hustle continues. Night got away from me I did not show you I had Chinese food but the glass is empty my friends